Mr. Corey on the stream says Jennifer Lee Chan says the Niners aren't resigning Lake and Tomlinson, Tart, K1 Williams, or DJ Jones. Uh, let's start with Tomlinson because that is you have to replace that. I mean, I would put on the list. I I think DJ Jones might be at the top of my list of the Niners free agents that you'd want back, but he's also going to be expensive because he's a good player. Arden Key, maybe they can't pick both of them, John. But Tomlinson plays offensive line on a team that's about to have a air quotes rookie quarterback starting. Yeah, I just there's a simple way to build your team that if you wanted to, I don't want to say overspend, but like be aggressive to keep a defensive lineman. I get it; they're hard to find. The Niners don't have a high pick this year in a draft full of defensive linemen. I I I just can't be paying a 31 year old guy that I once resurrected and got off the scrap heap a competitive number at 10, 11, 12 million dollars a year. Part of doing business in the NFL is at the highest level, it's cutting guys like Bobby Wagner. But on the most basic level, it's and not finding guys. Them. Yeah, that's without a phone level. call. But finding guys on the waiver wire, or you know, that are street free agents, signing them for not much money, having them, you know, I think Lakeland Tomlinson, if I remember correctly, was a relatively high pick. So you get a guy that you have C value in, and you're able to put him in the scheme. Let's see what he was. He was. He was a first round pick. He was a first round pick. So I would imagine there were people in the 49ers building, whether it was just simply Kyle or whoever, McDaniel, that really liked the guy coming out of college. So once you get your hands on him, you're like, we knew we could work with him. And they did. And he was he was an excellent starter for them for years at left guard. And ultimately this year he made the pro ball. You know, to me, I think he's a really good starter. But part of when a guy like this when really good starters hit free agency, which let's face it, they're the only guys that hit free agency because like stars, like Quentin Nelson is never hitting free agency. Trent Williams only hit free agency because of the way they had to like give the trade. They weren't allowed to franchise them, right? <laughs> the Niners never would have risked that if they didn't have to because they almost lost them. <laughs> and they, they ultimately had to give them $60 million and they would have probably given them $60 million anyway, but they would have franchised them first and then given them $60 million. Really good players, you let hit free agency. At guard, at corner, I could see it. At wide receiver, like if Brandon Ayuk, but again, you're signing these guys early. You let this guy walk. You do not resign him. And, and listen, I, we don't know if he's going to be any good. The NFL is all about how you allocate your resources. They did allocate a second round pick on a guard. Like right. now, ultimately, he might not be worth it. We, you got to. He's got to play. He just does. Like. If that guy's not playing next year, like let's just say he's a backup, that's a disastrous pick. A guard? Like I, I think guy, he 100% has to start next year. Like Aaron Banks. Period, period point blank. Starting guard. Left or right. But Well, I mean, report. he has to start. Like He has to, He to me, if Trey Lance is your quarterback, Aaron Banks has to start. If he doesn't start, it's a failure. I agree with you there. I'm not starting him because he's Aaron Banks if he can't beat out whoever my other guard is in camp. I'm not messing 100%, with 100%. No, yeah, okay. but then, I'm then just making sure on the same page. But, yeah, I, yeah. but I think in their mind, they had to like this guy a lot to draft him in the second round. Right. You would think that there are, I think it's fair to say that maybe he's penciled in on Kyle's whiteboard as a starter. He's not now, like some project who barely played in college, right? Fucking from Notre Dame. Now, I think it was, you could argue, you know, and my friends did that, like, I don't know if I see the fit, you know, the, uh, the scheme. He played in a power scheme. Obviously, the, you know, the, uh, what the 49ers do is much more kind of it's a zone based game. You're just running a lot. So they left athletes, which I think Lakeland Tomlinson fit into that where this guy, the knock on him was like, you know, he's a big, powerful guy. And one thing I, I John and those guys have talked about, which is like getting him in the right shape. They, they feel it can translate, but they're going to have to see, like you, you got to, you're going to have to take a swing with them. I, I, I just can't be paying guards that much money. Part of, listen, this is not ideal, but it's a situation they're in. McGlinchey's coming off a rip quad or whatever, <laughs> torn hamstring. He's playing on his fifth year option. And a fifth year option is like the poor man's franchise tag. It's $10.8 million. And that 10.8, like you're paying him that. So you, you have a starting, your two tackles are 30 million. You're allocating a lot of resources, right. as you should with Trent. But is McGlinchey a $10.8 million player? I mean, he, he better pick it up. Well, and the other thing is you were already paying Lincoln Tomlinson, I think, six, right? So just there's a natural raise, even if it's on the low end of what he would get paid. 
which is I think PFF projected like eleven million dollars a year, thirty five million. But like you said, once you hit all free takes agency, a couple team, all it takes a couple teams, and that remember Jet McKinnon, people are like. You know, he's just a serviceable backup. Then all of a sudden, like the Niners and the Jets, and then all of a sudden they were giving him like eight, nine million dollars a year at running back. People were like, what are they doing? And, and I remember talking to the Niners guys about it. They're like, What ideally do you want to do this? But when there's three other people bidding on him, and it's like Kyle's like, I want Jet, you know. Well, all it takes is Doug Peterson, like, I want Tomlinson protecting what's his name? Trevor Lawrence, who was at the golf tournament all weekend, and then and then two other teams are bidding for his services, and all of a sudden you know, the first year of Lakin's deal, he's making 14, right? Is that, I, I is, think I think he's gone. Well, I, I agree. You, I mean, you have, even with Jimmy's money available, this would not qualify as the big swings that we talked about the other day. You drafted a guard because you were expecting this to happen. This is going that's according you, to... When Lakin Tomlinson leaves... Build. Yeah, when Lakin Tomlinson leaves... It that's called going. It's going according to plan. This is part of the plan when you draft a second round guard last year. Now you also need yeah. a center, right? I, I read somewhere that he might come back. Alex Mack might come back. Can we work on those uh, shotgun snaps? Yeah. Well, Trey's athletic. He's big. I, I I would expect one of their high picks, either a second round pick or one of their third round picks, to be on a guard slash center. Wouldn't you? Like one thing, Kyle has yeah, been. Yeah, I think a good. third like, round they, they, center. Like you draft a third they, round center, you think that guy's going to start? Hell yeah! I mean, like undrafted now. free agents sometimes start. Six round yeah. center start. Yeah, true. yeah. I'll give Kyle credit on this with a, for with being a, an with offensive a guy. This year starter at quarterback. Kyle, Kyle drafts, but that's. I mean, this is just part of the league. Yeah. Kyle, sorry, go ahead. Kyle drafts. I just a lot of big heavies. Like he, he likes drafting, you know, what we find kind of boring, D tackles and offensive linemen. Speak for yourself, John. That is right up my alley. You were the one that brought it up. The Day three it. of interior linemen is what I live for. Bag of Cheetos and a big gulp. Don't bother me. I'm watching the draft. Road graders. Okay. Mama's favorite. That's what I call big linemen. 